My name's Hugh Murphy, I'm 11 years old and I'm from Winchmore Hill, Enfield, North London. Uh, my primary school was Grange Park and my secondary school that I'm about to start is Highlands. I like news reading because I like to keep updated with the latest news and uh, to bring people the latest news as well as doing happy news and things like that, yeah. Uh, during lockdown I'd go out with walks from my mum, do my schoolwork and I had some spare time a bit more during lockdown so I thought what should I do and I thought let's do a, uh, let me do a newspaper so I did uh, because at the time there was a lot of negative news so I thought let's do some happy news so I'd print off newspapers um, and it'd all be happy news based and I'd give it to some of my neighbours I'd get letters back like a couple of days later saying oh yeah lovely um, can you send me some more I'd be like yeah sure but it'd be every week doing happy news at the time. Now I do general news but still I really enjoy doing, doing the happy news sections. Yeah. Uh, who would you say your favourite news reader is if you've got one? Um, probably Kate Garraway from Good Morning Britain because I think she has a lot of, um, she's quite passionate about her journalism because even whilst her husband Derek was sick with Covid uh, at first she was supporting her kids and uh, which she does amazing at I know and, um, and even whilst her husband was getting better but still was fighting Covid, she came back into work to keep people updated with the latest news so I think that's quite a good move and brave move of her, yeah, so I'm quite inspired by her, yeah. Do you think um, like us as your family and also your friends have been supportive? Um, yeah, I think they have, um, they've all been quite good, I showed my mum the idea, I thought I showed a few of my cousins, they were like yeah, good idea, keep up with it and um, uh, they watch it more or less every day, my news, and because it's about 10 minutes, yeah. Do you want to say uh, how you got grandma involved? Um, yeah, so it was sort of a similar thing. Um, I went up to her and I said, I've got this idea about doing a programme maybe called something, and we, we discussed for about an hour what should we call it, and we thought maybe Good Morning News. So we thought of that, and, um, and then at first we were like, oh, maybe grandma, you should do reports. And she was like, okay, but it didn't really work. So we thought, right, you can do your, uh, you can do maybe regional news so I can have like a two minute break whilst you read London's news. And she thought, yeah, it's a good idea. So she did that and she quite likes the idea and it keeps her updated with the latest news as well. Yeah. So what are plans have you got for the future? Um, I'd like to get a bigger studio, uh, it's not really a studio, it's my bedroom, um, I've got a wall and so yeah, thought I'd use that, but um, I would like to have a room dedicated to Good Morning News, a studio, um, and have crew that would work for it, um, and we can do uh, professional live shows, so hopefully I can do that in the future one day, yeah. Hello, welcome back to Good Morning News on Monday the 9th of August 2021. Now, after last night, the Olympic 2020, so-called, which were actually the Olympic 2021 Games, draw to a close. Good Morning News looked at the highs and lows of the Olympics of Great Britain, as Good Morning News reports. Hello, welcome back to Good Morning News. Now it's time for a short break and we'd like to say a massive hello and welcome to our new presenter, Vanika, who has joined our weather team. Now it's time for your Met Office update. Bye-bye. Very good, and let's start. Hello, welcome to Good Morning News. You're joined by me, Hugh Murphy, our headlines today. Thank you very much for that report. Good morning news there. Now, dog nappers and other pet thieves will face tougher sentences under the government's plan to create a new criminal offence. After during lockdown, pet uh, stealing rose dramatically and it is still on the rise. As Good Morning News reports on the new laws put in place to protect your pets. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our programme. Our headlines this Tuesday morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our programme. You're joined by me, Hugh Murphy. Now, you may notice a little bit of a slight difference to my voice because we've now been given microphones. You can finally be able to hear us. So that just makes our Good Morning News programme even better because we've got better lighting, a, gr a goodish sort of camera. Uh, we've got a background and we've finally been given our very own microphone. So, welcome to Good Morning News. It's lovely to have your company. Let's start with our top story today.
<laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning News. You're watching with me, Hugh Murphy, on Tuesday, the 10th of August, 2021. Now, Team Great Britain's athletes are given warm welcomes as they return home after winning 65 medals altogether. Audrey, instead, it'll be a special climate programme looking at our climate crisis with correspondents in India and our local area. You're watching Good Morning News. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. Bye-bye. I'm with my grandma and as we're learning about World War II, she was seven years old when the, world, uh, the war broke out and it was 13 and she was 13 years old when it ended. I'm in a support bubble with my grandma so I'm allowed to be next to her and near her and in her house um, until the lockdown restrictions so that's why I'm with her and I'm going to ask her a few things about the war. So, um, what do you remember from the war? I remember being a bit scared when the air raid warning went off because it was a wily sort of noise. Mm -hmm. It was behind the police station at Southgate. Mm -hmm. It made a horrible noise and then when it switched off it took ever such a long time to stop the <laughs> going down. Mm. Um, so have you got anything else to tell me about the war? Or Because I know you wouldn't have remembered absolutely everything because you would have been very young when it happened. When the war broke out, I was seven. seven. I can then... remember it quite a lot, but because I was only seven, I wasn't as scared mm -hmm. as grown up would be. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Grandma, for speaking to me today. That's all right. And I will speak to you more about it soon. Yeah. And I hope um, this is an okay video, uh, Laura.